I suspect. Fox 5's Ashley Mastronardi shows us how it's done. Clothes, paintings, furniture. Your home is overflowing and it's hard to tell the treasure from the trash. Enter appraiser Lee Drexler, an expert in letting go of unwanted items and getting top dollar for them. For fine arts and antiques, Drexler recommends getting them appraised, then hitting an auction block. Everything at auction now is listed on the internet. Everybody in the world will see your item. She says your goods could sell for about 10 to 100 times what they're worth. There was a vase sold this year, a Chinese vase, and the, the auction house that sold it thought it was a reproduction. They estimated like a 1000 to $1,200. It sold for $18 million. Drexler says you can also unload unwanted items through a dealer. She says it's a good idea to get multiple estimates. You have them come in at different times. They give you a bid as to what they're going to pay. And when, if you agree to take the person who has the highest price, they have to come in with a certified check. But if your items are not that fancy, Drexler says you can always list them on eBay. Although she says packing and shipping the items could be time consuming. It reaches thousands of people. But you do have to negotiate with a person uh, who's buying it to determine what the price will be. You then have to pack and you have to send the thing. So if you have a few things, it could work out very well. Drexler says another good way to let go of your items is at a tag sale. Auction houses don't really like taking the things from your kitchen, your cucumber peelers or your carrot choppers that cost you two or three dollars. But at a proper tag sale, it can be sold for a dollar a piece, 50 cents a piece. 25 cents a piece and maybe you can make thousands of dollars if you have a large amount of kitchen equipment. Drexler also says donation is a good route. She says it's a good deed that could lead to a nice tax write-off. In Larchmont, Ashley Mastronardi, Fox 5 News.